only problem, Marsh, is that we can't watch it all at once, I guess, like many of the fans here can. But we're certainly uh, seeing the best of what's available. In the match we're going to bring you next in a Class B match at 167 pounds. That's a look at Paul Galarnik from River Valley with a record of 23-6-1. He'll be going against Bob or Rob Uphoff of Reedsburg. And Rob is 28-1. And, and this is a fine, fine matchup between these two young men. Rob is coached by Greg Trosper in his seventh year. And Paul Galarnik, coached by Larry Laffery. And they're going at it already with Uphoff at the left of your screen. Once again, it may be easy to remember while the uniforms are very similar, that Galarnik, of course, has the singlet only in the bare legs. And the RV in the middle of his singlet. Standing for River Valley. River Valley is a consolidated school in the Spring Green area. They had quite a wrestling record there established. Rick Lovinger was helping us on the broadcast, formerly their coach there. Right, he coached them for some great years. They had some outstanding champions. 122 remaining in the first period, 167 pounds, Class B. Up off, of course, representing a chance to not only win a state championship for himself, but to be part of a team which has already won the state championship. Excellent. That's got to add a little adrenaline to the cause, don't you think, Marsh? No question about it. Up off with an excellent move there, holding and getting the trip, but just off the edge of the mat. He's been very impressive there. He got the same move, and this time it's in the middle of the mat, and he now has picked up his two-point takedown. Galarnik immediately standing, and Uphoff is going to uh, permit him to get away. I think Uphoff feels he's much better on his feet, and he's now out to try and establish it. Two to one the score, Uphoff leads it with 45 seconds off, and we have a warning. stalling call, a stalling, uh, stalling warning for going off the mat. The official attendance tonight, Kirby, 8,940. Very, very well represented crowd here tonight at the Fieldhouse for the Class A, B, and C Wrestling Championships in this 1980-81 season. We've had uh, crowds of about that uh, much, not quite as many as this, I think, throughout the tournament. Be interesting to see what the final total of it is. And it's up off once again comes in for a double leg. Well, Uphoff certainly has established himself as aggressive of the two right now. He has gone to the same move twice. The upper body drops down to the leg, picks him up, and turns him in midair for the takedown. He has excellent penetration, as is evidenced by the fact that he's able to use the back heel trip when he gets way in there. He is right now establishing himself as a far better wrestler on the mat. And so far, we haven't really had a chance to see what uh, is going to happen down there because they really haven't stayed down on the mat that long. 14 seconds to go now in the uh, first period. Up off leading it for. Here we have a total attendance of 43,143 for the uh, three day tournament. Back to referee's position again. That's a good shot of the leg curled under now on Galarnik so he can attempt to stand without Upoff being able to pick up his ankle, but Upoff didn't want to pick up the ankle. And that's the end of the first period, Kirby, with Upoff leading it by a score of four to one. Now this is rather interesting, Marsh. Galarnik won the toss and has elected to go down, and once again you can see him cuddling that ankle underneath now, protecting it so one can't pick it up. He's attempted to stand up. If it goes as usual, up off won't struggle too hard to keep him up. No, he lets him go now. Obviously, up off feels that he is the better on his feet. We've seen him take him down twice. He's in deep again, has good penetration. The Larnick counters as they head off the mat. He went for it again. Obviously, right. you might as well go to your bread and butter. You might just as well go for your bread and butter, just like a linebacker in football. He's booming in there for those double legs to set up, move in, 
The only thing that can happen, of course, in this situation is if he gets caught, if he overextends himself too far, getting carried away a little bit, has to be a little cautious. We know that the kids from River Valley are going to know how to use throws, and if that situation... 122 remaining in the second period, 167 pounds in Class B. Rob Uphoff leads it 4-2 to two over Paul Galarnik of River Valley. Paul's brother John is a member of the University of Wisconsin wrestling team. He's an excellent wrestler also at River Valley. Actually now, Uphoff has not penetrated deeply. He's gone in just about halfway on these last two attempts and permitted a counter. Maybe Galarnik is starting to come to life a little bit now. 57 seconds remaining. The officials for this match, Wallace Dunn of New Richmond and Ferd Kojis of Elkhorn. The matches have been officiated in quite an excellent fashion tonight, Kirby. Right. The officials are schooled well. They understand the rules. They have been in total command, and I haven't seen a match yet in glancing up and down the three mats that we have where there has been really any indecision or dispute over the operational techniques instituted in any of the matches. No, and I think that since this is the first time we've worked in teams of two, that they're doing a very good job of working in teams. It'd be interesting to get a chance to talk to some of the officials later to see how they like it and what they might suggest to improve it. I really feel, Marsh, that this is something that is going to be necessary as we go along since the wrestling is getting so active that we almost need to. Back to the center circle now with 27 seconds to go. And here comes up off again. This time he got in well, but the mat got too small all of a sudden. 20 seconds in the second period. Galarnik controlling the upper body, controlling the head. He's going to prevent that double leg if he can possibly help it and maybe get a throw if up off forces it too hard now. And it comes down with one second there. The period ends now. Four to two in favor of Bob Upoff of Reedsburg. Upoff qualified for the tournament last year. He finished first in the conference. Reedsburg is in the South Central. Galarnik also a conference champ from River Valley. Both young men intend to go on to college. At least that's what they tell us. Upoff has aspirations to become an engineer, either mining, metallurgical, or chemical. And Galarnik would like to go to medical school. So a little bit of wrestling. And for these two seniors, next year they'll start thinking about their careers. Loose headgear thrown off the mat. Galarnik now in the advantage position with 135 remaining in the third and final period. And Galarnik trails in the match four to two. He's driving that bar arm. He'd like to turn up off over. He's got to block the far arm so that there's no brace out there and they go out of bounds. 123 remaining now. Galarnik has to be the... Galarnik will be in the advantage position, in the referee's position. Notice how Uphoff sets up the firm base, which allows him to stand up. Galarnik, of course, working high, pulling him down, countering the strategy. Again, yep. Upoff tries to stand up. His headgear comes off. He may come out the back door, pull his head out of there, and he'd have two. Turns into him there and gets his one point for an escape. Actually, and again, they call Coach Larry Laffery to hold on to. 55 seconds remaining in the match, and Galarnik trails it by a score of 5-2. to two. Galarnik with his back to you right now at the right of your screen. Actually, uh, Upoff established himself as far better on the feet in the very early going, got himself two takedowns, and since that time, Marsh hasn't really done an awful lot. He was content to just sit around underneath, and uh, here comes Galarnik attempting a throw, which is a uh, desperation type thing. He, uh, he can't set it up, and now we're warning. Upoff is being warned for stalling. Now there's 26 seconds, and he's being warned he can probably... Uh, 
afford one point at this time, but no more. He went right back in for that double now. He's driving. He's not going to take, take a rest, uh, stalling point. Went in for the double, didn't make it, converted it to a single. And with 13 seconds remaining, Uphoff holds a three-point lead, 5-2 to two, over Paul Galarnik of River Valley. Uphoff from Reedsburg High School. In just a moment, you'll hear the Reedsburg crowd count it down. Well, as you hear the Reedsburg cheering section in our immediate vicinity, and they are well represented here tonight because they have gone on to claim the Class B championship. Obviously, tremendous interest in wrestling in Reedsburg. And we'll return after these commercial messages from our statewide sponsors with the 155-pound awards and the 185-pound title match on your WIAA network station. Winning it, and of course, Wisconsin Rapids winning the team championship. And there has never been any more excitement in the fieldhouse than what we just saw. Now the awards for Class C. The runner-up, Tim Rose of Highland, and the champion, Dave Schickel of Mineral Point. There's a good look at Dave Schickel. Now we move to the Class B runner-up, Paul Galarnik of River Valley. The champion, Rob Uphoff of Reedsburg, in the match that we showed you. In the Class A championship at 167 pounds, Oren Trindall of Ashwabanan. And the champion, Ron LaMarche of Waukesha South. 